Let's talk about rice. How do you make it nice? Let me give you some advice about rice. I'm gonna tell you a trick that a chef told me. Um, when you make rice for yourself, you don't care that it clumps up or breaks, right? Rice is a, gr is a grain, and around the grain is a little sort of shell, and under the shell is the starch. If you want sticky rice, you break the shell, and it's clumps together, okay? If you want fancy European-style rice, you don't want that, and this is how you do it. First of all, you boil the water separately. For tips on boiling water, go here. Uh, I am using two cups of water. I'm going to use one cup of rice, which means I'm going to have two cups of cooked rice. I'm going to put that on the high heat so it boils. Boil! That's what I want! Boil! It's going to boil. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. I'm going to add a little bit of stock to this water. You could actually make this all stock if you wanted. We're going to coat the rice with a little layer of oil before we pour in the water. So the rice is gonna maintain its integrity as it cooks. I'm just gonna put a little heat under there, low. And I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna put in a tiny bit of butter. This is a softened butter pack that Lynn dropped on the ground <laughs> and it's become misshapen. So we're going to use it for adding to things. I'm gonna let that melt down totally. When was the last time you had a skin check, America? Please check your skin at least once a year. Why not do it? It's covered by insurance. I'm gonna take my rice and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bang it around or punch it or, cause that's how you get busted rice, okay? You're trying not to break it. You're treating it gently, so gently. And I'm gonna just gently coat the rice with the oil, not Stirring it, you can even do it like this. See how it's shiny? That's what you want. I'm gonna be honest with you, the amount of shakes I did, it's possible that I broke some of them. It's really that delicate an item. And people don't really think that way about rice. You also wanna put it in a pot where it doesn't get stacked up like this, like a small pot, like when I'm cooking it for myself and I wreck it every time, because it needs to be able to move around so it doesn't break. We have boiling water coated rice. I'm going to pour the boiling water into the rice. So when I'm pouring this in, I'm kind of moving it around because I'm, guess what I'm not going to do is stir it. So I'm trying to use the flow to move the ones that were on the bottom. Take the back end of a spoon and I'm just going to touch the bottom to make sure that there's no rice stuck. I'm going to put in a little bit of that dried parsley that I grew, that I told you about. Make another little check before I turn the heat down. Now you want it to simmer, not boil. So turn it way down, cover it. Depending on what kind of rice you use, this could take anywhere from 50 minutes if you use brown rice, good luck not breaking it. If you use regular like um, Carolina rice, it'll take about 30 minutes. If you use basmati rice, it'll take 20 minutes and it usually comes out perfect, so I would go for the basmati. And that's it. You basically leave it and then after it's cooked, you're gonna taste a kernel to make sure that it doesn't need a little bit more stock. And, uh, and then you're just gonna leave it. And then right before you serve it, you're just gonna go like this and put a little knob of butter on top of it. Just gently mix it in and then bring it to the table. Perfect rice. Always nice. Good advice. I'm not gonna bang it around or punch it or, cause that's how you get busted rice.